Um, well, you know, just getting a lot of good advice from, you know, people that really know what's how, how the whole formula works has really helped out. But um, it's prepared us. You know, there's been some really happy moments. There's been some sad moments. There's been some frustrating moments. Um, but again, the way that we schedule um, and recruit is we tell them you're going to play against the best. And um, they want that, and that's why they come here. And so we are going to continue to do that. Um, I think everyone thought, oh, we're going to take it easy in the preseason because we are in the Big 12 this year. And um, I don't know. Someone told me a 10-day span doesn't look too easy in our season. So uh, we'll, we'll figure that out as we go along. But, um, yeah, I just – we want to be a, we want to be in, in the World Series. We want to be competing um, on the last day that the game of softball is played. And in order to do that, we have to be competing against the best every day. Um, well, competitively, obviously, I, I don't like it, um, but. I think it's perfect. I think it's a perfect fit. I think it gives us some respect, um, you know, being ranked above other Big 12 opponents that have been in the conference. Um, so it's it's telling our, our team, our program that, you know, we see UCF. Um, and then it's it, keeping us hungry. So as a coach, I love it. I want them to be fired up. I want them to have that um, little grit and uh, passion for proving people wrong. But, you know, we, we focus on us, ourselves a lot. I think right now, yeah, on paper, it's, it is. You know, we, um, you're only as good as your last game in everyone's mind, and that was not the – I think the game before that was a great representation of who we were, but the last game is um, I think just the season got to us. And so um, I think they've been really training and preparing to uh, make fifth just the starting point. Yeah. Well, it's exciting. I mean, if you think about um, the amount of like people that we're going to draw, that not only here but on ESPN, um, it's exciting. We've always had some really uh, big games here that have been televised, and I think the, the numbers have shown that they like watching not only UCF but the opponents that we play here. Um, so I, I, I think it's great. And, again, this is a – a really, really big <laughs> senior class, and um, to have senior day against the three-time, I think three-time in a row, I'm trying to not think about it, but uh, three-time in a row national champions, it's, uh, we like it. We like the challenge. We want it. And so, uh, I, again, I, I, I don't think it could be set up any better. Yeah. Well, last season we had quite a bit of talent coming, returning back. Um, the only thing that we didn't have in the circle uh, was innings, right? We had talent, but we didn't have innings. This year we come back with innings. And so I think that's um, definitely put a lot of confidence not only in the circle, but within the team. We talk a lot about protecting the queen. Our pitchers as a unit are the queen. Um, knights are supposed to protect the queen's land and well the field is the pitcher's land so um <clears throat> we talk a lot a lot about that and having those innings that experience and some of the additions that we've brought in um, we're very confident that we'll be prepared for lineups out there and there's going to be great ones that we're going to face this year um, and we have a lot of great options to go to um, and then just the seasoned the seasoned roster that we have the seasoned lineup that we have um, all starters returning um, is very exciting and um, has been keeping me up at night because I've tried to do lineups and just wondering how we can get more hitters in a nine, if we can like maybe put 10 or 11 and no one will notice uh, squeezing those hitters in. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're still protecting the plex and protecting the queen that carries with us always. Um, and then this year it's hashtag STW. So 
That's all I can give to you. <laughs> you say then what that stands for for later. Um, yeah, they, they said that they can reveal it when they're in Oklahoma City. Not the first time, because we'll be in there for the Big 12 championships or conference cha tournament. Which quarters have you been most impressed with going into this weekend? Yeah, that's a great question, and I can't answer it because I would, I'm going to list everybody on the team. Um, I, we had our opening day dinner last night, and um, <clears throat> the, one of the things that I talked about is we have had some sports center defensive plays, and I could list probably 10 to 12 human beings on our team that would make the top 10. Um, so it's not just like, oh, Jazz Williams at short only. Well, Aubrey Evans was playing on the opposing team against Jazz Williams in our knots versus knights and made this awesome double play. Um, and, you know, maybe we won't see her at short this year, um, but just the amount of athleticism that we have on this team and their willingness to just go and do things, um, <coughs> excuse me, has been awesome. So, you know, we talk about all of the, um, the pitchers that we have on our team and that we have that depth in, in our pitching roster. Uh, it's not easy to learn every pitcher, though. Okay. Pitchers are unique and they're special and great, um, but it's not easy to learn all of them, what, what their fields look like, their routines, and our defense is just molding to each one of them, and it's been really awesome to see. So uh, most impressed with, um, it has changed every day. You mentioned team dinner. Um, how has team chemistry been? How are all the players getting together in the locker room? How is, how is the yeah. vibe Yeah. Well, you know, that's been a part of our program. Um, who we are is why we win. We totally believe in that. And um, our, our culture is always something that we, we think about and focus on first. Um, but then you have these teams each year that, you know, they, they vibe together. And this team is definitely one of those teams. Um, it's very mature. It's, they are very mature. Um, and that's so important because you deal with different things that can occur um, amongst a group of highly competitive women. Um, and we do this to ourselves. We judge each other. We judge ourselves. We are so tough on each other and ourselves. Um, and so the maturity that this group has had has allowed us to have fun, be those playground kids when we want to be, um, and like allow us to get to be vulnerable in front of each other. So um, the things that I've seen with this group is it, it's definitely I'm learning from it. Um, it surprised me. It's dropped me to the floor, floor laughing. There's times where I'm given the face like, and then I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but it's, it's, it's just been such a great time watching the seniors cultivate what, what we are and who we are here. Um, so it, it's been fun to watch. And the freshmen are not afraid to get after it. So. Yeah, so excited. It's going to be our second annual Fan Fest. Um, and last year, you know, when you have those events, you're like, okay, who's, are, are people going to show up? And uh, last year, the attendance, even in the rain and location moving, um, it, was, it was such an honor to see how many people truly loved not only our program, but the people in it. Um, and so it's, it's a fun time for our team to give back to Night Nation. Uh, we love to do that. They are servant leaders. Um, they definitely get into the community. And so to be able to combine both and get them in our realm is, is so much fun. You know, they get to brag on our sport a little bit and um, have fun with it. And, of course, selfishly, my kids get to be involved and my family, so I get to blend both as well. Yes, uh, they, they do like to show off. No, um, I, I think it, that will, part will be definitely fun. And that's the difference, too, when I, I forget who asked the question. Every day they're out here, I think they believe there's an audience out here. Um, and that's confidence. I know people might take it as a little bit of cockiness, but um, it's okay for us to be confident and to show our skills and show our passion, and, and they do it on the daily. So, um you know, it's in my time here, uh, Elo reminded me it's been six years. So that means my middle child was six months old when we got here. 
So um, it's like, wow, I feel like I just blinked. Um, but in my time here, um, and it, we, the vision that we had for this program um, was an idea. And to see it playing out and coming to, you know, here it is, it's real life and it's happening, um, it takes your breath away. And I'm going to just pause for a second. Star in contact. No. Um, and just it, it takes your breath away because you have an idea. And, yes, it, it could be a great idea from coming from one person, whether that's me or someone else. Um, but all the human beings that put it into action is, has just been amazing. And so to watch that come about and put it all together and we're, we're sharing these moments and the history that we're making, um, it's just been such an incredible journey. And I have no clue what your question was now, but that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> yeah, so the two transfer pitchers, um, they bring experience, which is nice, and that's different from last year. Um, you know, our transfer pitcher actually brought experience in other parts of the game um, and then learned her, found her pitching voice, if you will, here. Um, but with Sona and Ava, uh, they've had s lots of success. Ava had success against us, um, and that's what I loved most. Uh, Kama Woodall, if you remember her name, also had success and was feisty against us. So I was like, well, if she's in that portal, we're going to snag her. Um, and then Sona has had success on both sides of the ball as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, they bring experience, um, different looks, you know, being able to have a lefty um, that throws a little different from our other annoying lefty, Angie DeVoe. Um, and I call her annoying um, with all – all the love because that's what I want her to be out there. Um, hitters do not like her, um, and I want them to continue to keep feeling that way. Um, but, yeah, so Ava brings that lefty aspect, uh, but a different look than Angie. And then Sona, uh, I've never seen our machines show that velocity consistently. So excited to see where, um, you know, she, she takes us with that. So... And then you, we also have our freshman, Isa, um, Isabella Vega. She's, she's a spinner. She's also an annoyer from the right side, I'm going to say, um, and highly competitive and super tough on herself um, and has high expectations. And usually um, those are the, you know, the ones that uh, become great. And so having all of those in our um, bullpen have been – a really fun time, a challenging time. They definitely keep me on my toes in there. Um, and the hitters are starting to kind of put the ball and play a little bit more off of them. And so I've been going back and watching film like, okay, what are we doing wrong? Oh, no, our pitchers, you know, what's happening? I'm like, no, those are good pitches. So it's making our hitters better, which in the end, I'm hoping all of it comes together at the right time. And, you know, we're a darn tough team to play. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what's so incredible about this group is, you know, I've talked to the freshmen quite a bit because um, there's seven of them. And the idea was when we first started recruiting them that they're going to come in and replace the team that w they were all supposed to graduate last year. Um, and replace is a terrible world word. Um, Elo, you might have to come up with another one for me. Uh, Yes, have an opportunity to take on and take over um, from where they left off. That's awesome. That's why we have Elo here. Um, and so, but they know. They, I said, look, when we recruited you, um, we weren't even in the Big 12. And we didn't know we were going to the Big 12. And uh, we hadn't been to a super regional. Um, there's just so many things that have occurred since that time. And so they're bought in. They're bought it and they understand it. And I said, it's not this, you know, this journey is not a one-year journey. Um, you're going to be a part of something for a long time. And so we have these genuine, authentic talks of, 
you know, we, it, and they're uncomfortable sometimes to tell somebody like, hey, you're awesome and you might not play a lot. Uh, but next year when, you know, the 11 seniors are off doing awesome things in the world, you're going to have to take take the torch and, and go with it. Um, and you see their eyes like light up like, and I'm thinking, I don't know if I was 18, 19 years old, if I would have that same response. Um, so the people is how I would answer it. You know, recruiting in the transfer portal, um, people talk about the, it's good, it's bad. It's We've had success because of the people that we've recruited. Um, you know, some people told me, don't go after so-and-so, don't go after so-and-so. And not because of anything bad, just like, oh, you've already got this. And I'm like, yeah, but this person could make us better in this way, on and off the field. Um, and I'm going to talk about it. You know, Sarah Willis is somebody that you notice Sarah Willis. Right away, you walk into the room, you notice Sarah Willis. Um, and, and it's hard to uh, approach it if you're not comfortable and know somebody. And we empower Sarah Willis. You know, we want her to be who she is in her best, you know, version of herself. Um, whether it's wearing her Miami Vices or whatever they're called, those big, you know, loud sunglasses. Um, her wonky wind-up that she has. Um, all the little things, you know, that she does. Like, But I don't know a better change-up in the game. Um, and so... I, I empower that. And I'll also tell you that she's one of the strongest women that I've ever coached and the hardest worker. And you look at all those things and you think like, oh, that person's kind of flashy. I don't know how hard they work. Well, they judge the book by the cover. She's amazing. And she will be the loudest one out there. We often say like, hey, Sarah's got to go play a position. I can't handle her in the dugout with us because she's so just passionate about her team and wants to win. Um, and so I, I say that by all of the people that we've recruited in the transfer portal, there's a story and a connection. And, um, you know, when you start to love the people in your program, sky's the limit. Um, and I'm going to say vice versa. They do that to me, too. I, who, I'm who I am today because they love me just as much. They hold me accountable just as much. So did I answer it, Trace? Gosh. I don't even want to think about it. I'm going to have lots of uh, sunglasses and maybe a hat on. And um, it, I, I can't imagine what it's going to be like. Um, I started to think about it last night. And um, I stopped because, you know, every senior has a special place in my heart. Uh, Shannon Doherty was talking uh, on at the podium last night. And I just, I got to see this young woman grow from, a child when she got here to this amazing human being that's teaching me things while she's talking in front of this group about our program. Um, so I, I think it's great that we're going to continue to keep playing after that. And we know that. And so I'm just, I'm going to hold on to that, but um, it's going to be an honor uh, and a privilege to celebrate them here. Uh, and w what better way to, than to do it against the best team out there in the last couple of years. Yeah, um, we actually didn't have team captains um, this year because we had so many seniors and I felt like they all needed to bring their voice. Um, last year, the captains that you mentioned um, none of them were seniors. And so there is something to say about playing for your seniors and how far your senior leadership will take you. Um, and we have 11 of them, and they're all different in so many different ways. We have quiet ones. We have loud ones. We have funny ones. We have serious ones. Um, and I wanted them all to have an opportunity to have a voice and feel like this is their team. Um, and so I didn't want to divide that class this year. And they... They have been operating in such a great way. I, I, when I say that I don't have to ever deal with like the wrong clothing item that you know a team is wearing at one time or not being somewhere, I never have to worry about those things. I get to worry about 
uh, who's the you know who's the leadoff hitter, what pitch are we focusing on today? Um, and so it's it's actually been a it's it's been working for us. Well, there's a lot more of them. You know, in the past, um, we've had some, and even before my time, we've had some incredible pitchers um, that sometimes have had to been a, a you know, a, the one, the one horse um, in the barn. And so, uh, it's it's awesome to know that we have people that are of that talent, and they also have other people with them. We actually were just on a call on Friday with uh, three of them. Um, Mackenzie Audit, sorry, Mackenzie Audit is next week. Allison Kime, um, Shelby Turnier, and Aaliyah White, and they spoke with our pitchers and just kind of sharing their story. Um, and then some of them said, "Well, I'm glad I pitched when I did." The hitters have so much information now, and that's what it is. You know, our the pitchers being able to blend together to get outs, and I think that's that's the difference from. You know, all of them are great. They're elite pitchers. They all have it. Um, but the hitters have it a lot more now. <laughs> and so just keeping them off base even longer, um, and especially in a three-game series, it's going to take the whole the whole roster. How would you describe the position battle of Texas? Yeah. Um, well, that's a great question because we had the situation we ran into last year with the injury. Um you know, Ashley Griffin comes back stronger than than I think she was even before the injury. Um, and Carson Fryer did such an amazing job uh, stepping into that role for us um, with an unknown of, you know, who's going to be our pitcher. Um, and just did a really good job of doing whatever the team needed for us. Um, and so that's going to be tough, like, like you said. And then bringing in Kylie Strott, freshman, who – also is highly talented, has played on a high-level tra high level travel ball team um, and can swing it. Uh, it it's going to be fun, and I think we're looking at more of we're going to be able to keep everyone fresh this year. We're not going to have to, um, you know, kind of just like run them into the ground playing all these games and the innings that we're playing. And uh, like I said, I don't try to – I try not to look into the future too much, but um, second and third weekend, it's – two travel weekends and we're we're playing some of the highest rpi games straight out the gate so um that's going to require a lot of emotional uh physical you know wear on the body and to be able to have other people to go for um to go in that position is going to be really important so for in the preseason, I would say yes. And we've done that in the past, too, where we've maybe matched a catcher with a pitcher, kind of seen who's worked uh, better with certain pitchers and blended that. Um, so, yeah. But, I mean, Ashley Griffin and Carson have done great for us the last two years. I want to go on yeah. some more about this for Katie and Mitch Mitch and then your coach. So you've got Cass and talk about Jeff. And obviously a lot of new newcomers are now with Team Liberty. But what do you think it looks like from year to year? Yeah. But um, you don't see the t everyone's starters anymore. You see so much situational where it's, you know, the bottom six and so in the outfield it's based on force and where you're at the plate and things like that. Yeah. Kind of what that's been like. Yeah, it's a great question. And I love that question because I feel like I've been playing that game for a while. Um, you know, if we had 17 position players, you'd see my lineup at the end of the game has changed and scratched out a lot because we we use everybody um, and their strengths in the team. Um, as, a, as we've kind of gone further, I feel like we've had more players that can do more things. Um, and so maybe that's kind of lessened the amount of opportunities that we've made as many switches. Um, but it's also, like I said, you have 11 seniors and senior bodies have gone through the ringer, um, especially if it's five, six years that they've been there. We get to keep them fresh and not worry about, are we able to, you know, give this, give this gal a break today? Um, or even just a couple innings. Like she's, she's tired. Her recovery is not where it needs to be. We can do that and still be competitive and win a game. Um, and I, I know there's some programs out there um, that do it really well, and they're so darn fresh and ready at the end of the year. 
Um, and so we're, we're learning, we're learners, and we're figuring out it out to have the best recipe of still being feisty and rowdy as we are, because that, that's who we are. You know, we're, we're gritty, we're competitive, um, chippy, uh, but also being fresh and recovered. And, and so I think it's going to allow us to do that. Let me, I'll let you know after the season. <laughs> Yeah. So um, we're starting to get into that more um, right now with the resources that we do have. Um, we have a few of our two-way uh, players, like our two-way pitchers, um, getting monitored. And the goal is to be able to have everybody. Um, what's been awesome is our women are kind of jumping into that and, and doing it on their own. And then we have the resources to help them with our nutritionists and our strength and conditioning and our trainers, our physical therapists. But um you know, if, if someone's in the red for recovery, you know, with the whoop or any of those other um, devices, uh, we know, okay, we're going to listen to it. They're, they're not just dogging it. We're going to listen to it and we're going to give them a day off. Um, and that's something that I've been doing with Sarah Willis, you know, and she gets mad at me. Um, Sona also, like, they'll be like, I could do more. Nope. You've already hit your, your pitch count or you've already hit your limit. Um, because they're already throwing at that high velocity right now, and we want to keep it the entire year. Um, and so it's, it's something that we're learning and really taking into consideration. And we'll make some mistakes with it, but um, it's so important. You know, recovery, sleep, so important. We're finding that it's helping with preventing injuries, having people um, heal quicker, um, and then performance. Yeah. Well, regardless of how good any team is to get to the World Series and be, you know, the last eight standing, um, it's not easy. I don't care if you have the best team out there, the best roster, the best pitcher. It's not easy. Um, and so there's a lot of preparation. You know, there's a lot of um, not only talent preparation um, and then. Sometimes chance and luck also, you know, go into it. And um, we're just going to make sure that we have left no page unturned. Um, and we have done everything in our power so that we have no regrets in um, our pursuit to OKC in the end of May, beginning of June. How excited are you to see the game? So excited. I'm tired of facing our batters, you know. Um, our, I know our pitchers are like they'll throw these great pitches and they're getting to them. Our hitters, you know, well they've been like having some good swings and then our pitchers get them. We need to face other people, um, but I'm so excited for it and I'm so excited to see Night Nation out here and you know the left field lounge out there. I, I can't go without um, talking about them um, and just getting getting them getting after it because they have trained and worked so hard um, and it's time to start seeing some of those rewards. Favorite memory with them so far? Uh, there's so many. Um, I definitely, last night was, is going to be a core memory for sure of taking a picture with all of them. And they're all so beautiful and confident, um, you know, wearing these amazing outfits, um, all different styles. They got the cool Jordans on with their awesome outfits um, and just smiling and having fun and getting excited, like watching some of our newcomers, like one of our uh, Sona and seeing her face and even Stormy's face um, when we, we sold, I think it was cookies for $1,500 last night. And they were just like, I'm sorry, I made those in my oven. <laughs> um, it, uh, it, it was just really cool to see how you can see him buying in more and more. Um, that and then another favorite memory was two days after um, the regional up at Florida State, they wanted to meet and talk about what we're going to do next year. And so I remember being in the conference room and being around the table um, and they said, like, this is it. We don't want to leave anything left. You know, we're, we want to go for it. And 
Um, I mean, they talk about it. If we don't go to the World Series, and like I, I don't, I don't slow them down. I'm going to let them keep doing. They said that would be us underperforming, and they believe that. Um, and again, I'll still say it's really tough to get there. And some people in the, you know, right here know what it, what it's like. I've been a part of great teams as a coach and a player, and I've always been one game away. Um, so it, it takes a lot more than just talent and um, just really good team culture. But this team wants it, and they typically get a lot of things that they want and go after. Yeah, um, it's Becca's brain is just so awesome when it comes to how she approaches the hitters and what she plans with them on the daily. Um, and it, it's never easy for them. You know, like some days she'll come in, she's like, all right, we need to do like just a BP day. And I look at her like, you sure? Are you feeling okay today? Because um, we have these, you know, boxes that they have to stand on to hit rise balls. And sorry, Becca, if I'm giving up your secrets. But um it's been so nice to see the um, like the specified training that they've had, and they want to come in for more and hit. Um, and then we'll be driving up, and they're hitting on their own, and they're they're not just doing the things they want to do; they're doing the things that she's been asking them to do in practice. So that's been so nice to see that. And and she said, "I want to be a part of a program where pitching is important because you can't outscore." people that are scoring too much too many runs on your pitching and so hearing that and having those two things align have been really nice um she she has specific benchmarks that she wants them to reach throughout the game it's very clear uh and i it, it's been such an awesome journey this i think short six months watching what our hitters have done um and how much they've grown and then having cassidy brewer back is you know, having an alumni back, that I think that's a coach's dream is to be able to have, you know, former players come and work, come back and work for you, with you, because they know all the things that are important to you. Um, and then they have pride in the program that they played for um, and want to continue to keep going with it. So it's been nice to see that. I told Cassidy if she wants to coach with me, she's going to have to go do some do some time and years with within another program, and she picked – University of Florida to do that and did a great job over there and I was like all right I'm ready I'm ready to bring you back so it, it's been such a great transition with those two. Coach anytime I ever make you an entire person it is always awesome to have your ER as a player and as a coach and just how, how do you manage that coaching now obviously surrounding yourself with other great tennis players but just yeah it's not easy being competitive <laughs> um yeah, I and I have to definitely attribute, like, I have to thank my parents, my family, and my siblings because we had four of them. And one point, I think we were all sharing a room, and so it was always competing for anything: the remote, who got to go to the bathroom first, anything like that. Um, but to be that, to be as competitive, and I'm starting to realize I'm getting wiser and maturing. That means I'm aging. Um, that people are still important and it, you can still be competitive and be a good person. Um, and it's funny when, you know, we get to meet people that maybe I've competed against um, on the field and they'll come and talk to me and they're like, well, you're funny, you're nice. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but they only know what I was supposed to look like or what I, what I look like in the circle or in the, the uh, coach's box. Um, so... But I, I just, it's important to me. Somebody told me um, once, my, one of my strengths is significance. And at first I was like, well, that's kind of a, I don't know if I like that strength being significant. Like I have to be important. Um, but I do think it ties into competitiveness because um, what I'm going to be involved with has to have some significant significance in some way. Um, and so... You know, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it to our best ability. And if that uh, our best ability that day is 50 percent, we're going to get 100 of it. And having all those competitive people around me makes me better, makes us better. Um, so, but yeah, I, I have learned that I can still 
be that competitive person and then be who I am off the field. Um, Playing loose, having fun, taking risks. And seeing how we do with this 20-second pitch clock. <laughs> We've been practicing it a lot, so I'm really interested to see how we respond to that But from a tactical standpoint. But playing loose, having fun, smiling, celebrating each other. And then doing my favorite cheer in the dugout. They always do my favorite cheer in the dugout when we score a run. So I'm excited for that first one of the year. You mentioned that you really love to be with your players. <clears throat> what lessons have you learned from them? Well, the freshmen definitely teach me um, to relax and understand that, you know, sometimes I think all these things are so important and they are, you know, they have to happen right now. And they come in just like, hi, how are you? You know, and I'm like, I need to be calm and relax just like them and enjoy, you know, is it sunny out? I need to go check it out. Um, they've taught me to stop and smell the roses. Um, I'll go to jazz for the seniors on this one because uh, there's days where I'll feel sorry for myself that I didn't get sleep because of my kids or – um, it was a rough drop off. And then she comes in walking out like she slept for, you know, 15 hours and maybe had uh, her hair done and her nails done and everything else. She's walking in and I'm like, hey, how are you doing? She's like, I'm doing great. And I was like, did you get some good sleep last night? Nope. I'm like, I got to pick it up. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so she's definitely taught me that um, we can do anything as women. Um, we can still uh, be the the badass mom, excuse my language, um, and look good while we're doing it <clears throat> and be really good on the field. So um, I definitely learned a lot from her. And then, uh, you know, from our other women, they just they remind me of some of our core values. We, they just keep going back to it. You know, like something will happen. They'll be like, hey, Coach Bear, we need, we need to talk about team first. Okay, all right, let's talk about it. Um, so, yeah, I would say those are, those are some of the learning moments. Oh, yeah, I, I would not do it any justice. It's amazing. It's all in. They line up. They, you know, sway side to side, and then they, they do their cheer. And I get the chills every time they do it. Even I, I don't hear any of their cheers, but I hear that one. And when I'm, whether last year I was in the dugout, this year I'm going to be back out again. Um, every time they do it, I just, I get the chills and I'm like, all right, let's get some more. So. Um, they kind of all do it. I want to say Katie Burge and Angie DeVoe will come up with some. Um, sometimes the freshmen will like bring something. TikTok is, you know, they'll have, have some from there like uh i think i can't the pretty girls walk like this when we walk you know and then they do some funny walk and um so it, it's it's all different things <laughs>